The weather very uh, muggy it was. out there today. Very cool. gloomy day. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it's when the temperatures are reaching numbers that we should be having on the heat index, mm -hmm. you know, and, and it's all heat that we shouldn't even be talking about this early, guys. Very true. Yeah. yeah, the first triple digit definitely on the seven day forecast. Some record heat possible over Memorial Day weekend. But first, you're going to see just how hot this sun looks when you take a look at what Steve Manchester was able to grab. Ken's five eyewitness, Steve Manchester, Northwest San Antonio. Just that perfect disc of the sun as it is setting under clear skies. That is just an amazing picture. You can almost see a couple of sunspots on there. That's just awesome stuff. Good work, as always, Steve Manchester. All right, Central Texas. I mean, look at this thunderstorm complex, what's called an MCS, Mesoscale Convective System. This is when it's larger than one single thunderstorm, and it's a group of thunderstorms. It's structured together, and it is a phenomenal sight. I mean, this was a monster of a storm complex that moved due east. Now, early models had it dropping a little farther south, impacting Austin and possibly farther south on the I-35 corridor. That didn't happen. Took a pretty good right turn and went east across 35. We had one storm, northern Valverde County, that went under a warning for a short time. But really, this MCS stole the show tonight. We had a number of tornado warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings, and you can see the size of the hail core. Very impressive. Came in south of Waco, but north of College Station. Next couple of days are going to be pretty quiet. Morning cloud cover. I mean, maybe a little bit of drizzle, but afternoon sunshine for sure. Again, on Friday morning, you're going to see more. Again, morning cloud cover followed by afternoon sun. Outside tonight, excuse me, nice breeze out of the southeast. This is when it gets a little more comfortable. When the winds are picking up around 15 miles an hour, 84 still feels hot. 93, the heat index right now with that dew point at 76. We hit 96 for the official high today. 88 is where we should be stopping. So remember, five degrees above average for five straight days is a heat wave. We're there and then some because we're only getting hotter. Yesterday was 97, 105 down I-35, 106. So these are the highs I'm talking about that are typically heat indices. And it's 106 on an actual high in Carrizo Springs. 92 is all they reached in Del Rio because of the rain in the area. But with humidity staying high, dew points in the 70s until Tuesday, we get a brief respite on this tropical air. It won't last long, but at least we have that to look forward to, right? But look at these heat index values tomorrow. 104 to 105 for us. 111's down I-35. Friday afternoon, 109 for San Antonio. 111 Pleasanton, 115 Catula. Please make sure you're hydrating before you're outside. More haze in the forecast as the fires in Mexico continue to send in the smoke. Air quality so far has been okay, but it's something we're going to keep a close eye on. No ozone action days because the wind is at least staying breezy. Morning clouds tomorrow. Seven-day forecast will show you from 96. We could get the first 100 on Friday. It's going to be close, but we'll definitely get it by Saturday, if not Friday. 100 to 102 for Sunday. Memorial Day Monday, mostly sunny, and 101. And then we get a front that drops us to 94, still above average next week.